Mr. Gordon Waterstone, the associate editor of the Horseman at Fair World Magazine, as well as the Harness Racing Weekend Preview. And one of my favorite features this time of year, Gordon, the backstretch with Gordon column. It appears daily on HarnessRacing.com. I actually have to duck you every time I see you out at night. I don't want anything bad showing up in there. Talk to us uh, about this time of year and uh, how you get all that good coverage. Well, I, I, I'm allowed out of the office by Kathy Parker in the morning, and I come to the racetrack, and I go out at night, and I write what I see and view, and what's, it's, it's turned very humbling because it's staggering the amount of people that, that read it and make comments to me, and it's also staggering some of the things that you've had to do out at night that I've, I've kept to myself. So, But I appreciate it. The horsemen have been great. It's been a lot of fun, and it's building and building, and it just uh, I think people want to get mentioned now because they come up to me. Yeah, well, it's a great time. I enjoy it every year, and, uh, you know, thanks for cleaning things up a bit there for us. But uh, talk to us. Now, you talked to a lot of the connections in here in this Tattersalls pace coming up. A uh, great article in the Harness Racing Weekend Preview. You talked to the drivers, connections, uh, about everything from the 12-horse field to their strategy. What is your feel going into this when a uh, highly anticipated event coming up here? Well, I went searching in drivers because it's a 12-horse field, as you said. We've got the North America Cup, and winner and the Meadowlands Pace winner in the second tier and I just wanted to find out what's going to happen on the on the track so maybe there's no surprises and it turned into a really good story sometimes I don't always know that but when I finished it and reread it I said wow this is pretty good I could play everybody else off and 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 John Campbell told me what he always says is, is this post position is just the starting spot Yannick said as you I heard you talk to him earlier that he's going to be glued to John's helmet uh, and I've got David Miller in the one hole saying he's going forward, and then I've got Tim Teacher telling me it's a suicide mission. He's going to be four wide in the first turn. So that's that's all we got. And then Dave Plone I talked to this morning, and I know he's going forward too. So it should be really interesting. Well, now that you've gotten all the information, the uh, next question is who's going to uh, win the race? Boy, I talk about put it on the spot, huh? Well, I'm going to take thinking out loud because if Yannick's going to be pinned to his helmet, I'm not sure he could pass that horse. That thinking out loud was, was big last week, so we're going to play off that. Well, the, no doubt about that. A uh, fine selection, 25 flat. He's going to be a very hard to pass if he comes home uh, anywhere near that today. Sam, I'm going with both the doer once again in here. He came up sick last week. Connections seem to think they've got him back in line. No question he will be rattling off the gate as well. I think if he gets covered up and shakes loose late, he could uh, score an upset here. Uh, on the board right now, just at 3-1. to one. Hopefully that will continue to float up. As we near post time, it should be a good one here in the Tattersaws. I know question.